Hey, what's up, party people? Um, Jason with DadBot Health, and I'm going to tell you guys how you can get from fat to fit in just 30 minutes a week. If you know somebody that needs to hear this, please share it later on because I'm trying to catch some of my dads before football starts. As you see, I'm wearing my lion shirt, so I am also ready for my football day. However, I wanted to catch some of you guys uh, before that starts and drop some very nice knowledge in your ears. So here, hear me out. So what I want you to do is, is kind of let this resonate with you. So when you are trying to get from fat to fit in 30 minutes a week, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain the process to you. How you doing, man? Um, I'm going to explain the process to you. And if you can wrap your head around this, there's no reason why you can't have success. All right. So if you're someone who doesn't exercise at all and you don't know where to start or you don't have the motivation to get started, this is for you. So what I want you to do is think about exercise like this, okay? The first step in getting the first step in getting started is just getting started like with anything else. But if you're someone who sits behind a computer all day or is just ha just has an inactive job, period, I'm telling you right now, this is your little trick in order to go from completely inactive to being active and get where you want to be. So here's the thing. When you're talking about exercise, if you think about long term and you think about what you should be doing, you're not going to have success. I'm telling you right now, because what you should be doing is 150 minutes a week. If you don't exercise at all and you're not an active person, how can you wrap your head around 150 minutes a week? Let's be honest. Nobody's going nobody's gonna to jump in and start going to the gym five days a week for 30 minutes. It's just not realistic, right? So what you have to do is you have to think small, man. Just like with anything else. Make, make your goals very smart, measurable goals, man. Just something that you can accomplish. So here's what I want you to do. If you're inactive and you need to get active, hear me out. Start scheduling out your workouts. And what I want you to do is start with three times a week for 10 minutes. If you tell me that you don't have 10 minutes three days a week, 10 freaking minutes. That's all it takes, all right? What I want you to do is start walking three times a week for 10 minutes. Schedule it out on your calendar. As elementary as that sounds, seeing something visual on your freaking fridge or wherever in your office, whatever it may be, and, and being able to put a freaking X on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday or the three days that you choose, I guarantee will feel good, man. If you're, in, if you're someone who doesn't do any kind of physical activity, it's going to feel good to start seeing those X's on your calendar, right? All it is is three days a week for 10 minutes each. That's 30 minutes a week, okay? So don't think about 150 minutes a week. It's nonsense. Nobody's going to start off with 150 minutes a week, right? You have, to, you have to wrap your head around this mentally. But here's the thing. The mental process, okay, the mental process of three days a week for 10 minutes is the exact same mental process as three days a week for 45 minutes. I'm telling you. So when you start off with three days a week for 10 minutes, you just add time on as you move forward, but you've already got the routine going. When that's in, ingrained into your brain, and that's just something that you do now, three days a week for 45 minutes is a piece of cake, but you can't think about it like that going into it, okay? So start off with three days a week for 10 minutes, start to build, just start, start to get a routine down. Routine is everything. You know that. If you start a routine of drinking more water or eating a little bit healthier for a few days in a row, you start to, you start to really want that, right? So get out, get more active. Three days a week, 10 minutes can become three days a week for 45 minutes, and now you're cooking. But the reason I want to tell you that is because I wasn't always a guy that worked out as much as I do, but... I also didn't, I also started slow. You know, you, you, there's no reason to overwhelm yourself with a big commitment like that because at the end of the day, it's just not gonna happen. You know, like change needs to happen in small little doses, man. And when you don't, when you don't go about it like that, you're never gonna get anywhere. I would never try to overhaul someone's entire diet, completely get them from being inactive to active, drink all the water that they should be doing, get all the sleep they should be doing. That's overwhelming to think about, man. Life is hard enough. We all have our own responsibilities. We all have our struggles. And if you start thinking about exercise, something that you don't do now in terms of something that what you, what you should be doing, I mean, good. At the end of the day, the American Heart Association is right. 150 minutes a week is legit, man. That's what you should be doing, okay? So I'm not just pulling that pulling that recommendation out of the air. That, that comes from the American Heart Association. You know what? Most men die from heart disease. So you might want to listen to the American Heart Association. Now, 
there are some things that I don't agree with what they say, and we'll get into that chapter in a later date, mostly related around cholesterol. And I'll, try, I'll, I'll uh, bring you guys some very enlightened information on cholesterol. And I'm not going to claim to be the expert, but I'm going to give you guys that at a later date. And it'll, it'll blow your mind, man, when I start talking about cholesterol. Because I've done a lot of research on cholesterol. And that is one of my, uh, that is one of my big like passion topics. Okay, so Because there's, there's a lot of mixed information when it comes to cholesterol. But listen to the American Heart Association. 150 minutes a week is legit. But don't think about that. Don't start with that. Right? Three days a week. 10 minutes and you will go from fat to fit in no time. I'm telling you right now, all it takes is getting started. And you know that with anything in life, getting started is the hardest part. Any change you're going to make. So let that sink in, man. If you guys have uh, questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Um, And I appreciate all you guys who are listening. Uh, Give me any of the likes, hearts, whatever. If this resonates with you guys, I, uh, I'm going to continue to bring you value to this page, man. I just want you guys to, to be able to, to soak some of this in because for someone that's not active, I'm telling you right now, most of my clients have great results when I start slow and then they're like, you know what? You were right, dude. Like three days a week for 10 minutes ain't shit. I can do 30 minutes a week. If, you, if you're making excuses to not be able to do 30 minutes a week, we need to talk because 30 minutes a week is nothing. You spend more than 30 minutes a a day. Shit, some of you spend more than 30 minutes an hour, me included, on freaking Facebook. Okay? So put down social media. Get your ass outside and go for a walk. That's all it takes. Exercise does not have to be strenuous, but it needs to be consistent. Okay? If you want to get in better shape, you got to move. Move it or lose it theory, right? You've heard that before. If you have, give me some likes. Give me some hearts. Move it or lose it. And until you wrap your head around that and you start really implementing these things in your life, man, you're not going to get anywhere. You could say you want to get fit every single day of your life. You can wake up and and jump out of bed and say, you know what, I'm going to get fit today. And until you take that first step, (laughs) no pun intended, get outside, take the first step, get this process started, man, and, and reap the benefits. That's all. So hope you guys, uh, hope you guys found this helpful. Anybody who's not active, this should be the angle that you're approaching it, approaching your next step at. And, uh, again, if y'all have any questions, let me know if there is somebody that you think could, uh, benefit from hearing this, share it, share the shit out of it. And, uh, we'll be in touch. Can't wait to talk to you guys soon. Y'all have a fantastic Sunday and, and whether you're a hater or not, go Lions.